Hello, I'm Melanie Hubbard and welcome to After LUTV News, where we will discuss interesting topics in news and pop culture with our panel of University Press and LUTV news reporters. During our spring break, news hit on an admission scandal in higher education. 50 people were charged for being a part of an illegal scheme to gain admissions for high school students to top colleges and universities. Parents paid from $200,000 to over $6 million for their kids to attend schools, such as USC, the University of Texas, Yale, and Stanford. Other allegations include bribing exam officials to aid in cheating on the SAT and ACT, and bribing coaches to list students as athletes who did not play sports. Panel, what are your thoughts on the scandal and how does this make you feel as college students? I think the scandal is horrendous for a lot of reasons. I mean, these schools, these schools that were named, they are, they tout themselves as being these prestigious academies that, you know, only get the best students, but we've seen through this that that's just not even true. And, you know, for other students who, for every student who got in there unfairly, there's one student somewhere else who had the better grades, had better talent, but didn't have the same money or the same power, and they were left on the wayside. Yeah, I totally agree. Uh, it's, 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 uh, some say it was shocking, but not too surprising to me, because, you know, uh, as the Department of Justice uh, had even said, like, they quoted, like, like, it's a catalog of wealth and privilege, basically. CEOs, uh, children of, uh, of like law firm, global law firms, uh, the, and recently with the two known actresses like uh, uh, like Laura Laughlin and and uh, Felicity Huffman, and their children, and they're facing charges now. It's it's a very serious like, problem, especially since there's definitely kids out there like sports stars that are from like, very impoverished neighborhoods. Like my 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 hometown in Port Arthur, we, they always it's a uh, they always uh, scout out like football players but also uh, soccer players too sometimes. So what is the difference to y'all from people donating money for like buildings and things like that rather than paying money directly to these people? When you're donating money at, and say like $25 million to build a, a new library, a new computer lab or whatever, uh, you know, you're doing that to, to benefit all the students who go there and you're not expecting anything in return for it. You know, it might be nice to have your name on that building, but you're not expecting the college to pay you back. Whereas if you're bribing people to get your kid into this this institution, you're expecting them to fulfill that promise when you give them that money. And it's only in service of your kid or your grandkid or whoever, and not in service of all the other students who go there. Well, I want to talk about the coaches taking these bribes from these parents. Why not turn them in when you first got the bribe offered to you? Why not look out and scout out good talent? Why? Why just give like people like Olivia J this unnecessary scholarship or whatever she received just to get into um, USC? So yeah, I think it um, takes away from the quality of the team, and they could have had a better person, better in that position that could have actually drawn more um, fan support and just natural love from the people sport. who yes, the sport. Well, that situation with Olivia J doesn't even make sense. She didn't even do crew. Exactly. And that's the scholarship that she got. I mean, it, it's, it doesn't make any sense. So yeah, and she was also, I believe she has a YouTube channel, and one of her last few videos she actually was bragging about how she's trying to balance her next trip, trip to Fiji one week, and then she has to come back and, and enjoy the team and get her mind ready for like the next game well, and what, things like that. What school is she balancing exactly? Because um, from the crew team, she she was there for a month and then she got hurt and then she never returned back to the team so what is she balancing exactly because she doesn't even like school um, I have a quote from Olivia Jade's Twitter and it j she says I don't know how much school I'm gonna attend it's school what do you mean you don't know how much school you're gonna attend you got in through a crew scholarship so for these people you know school's not a necessity for them they exactly. could live off of their parents wealth or you know their beauty brand deals or whatever and and that's a great privilege to have whereas people like us if we don't get a college degree we don't get a career and uh, you know we spend we bury ourselves in this debt to try and get the best or at least most adequate education we can in order to sustain a life 
after college. And you have people like this who just throw it all away for college parties and lavish um, vacations, and it's disgusting. And I think that these people should be held accountable for that, and they should be called out on it. Yeah. And co college isn't really for every student. I, I mean, yes, college is great, and it is. I know college is for me, but college is not for that. May not be for her. Yeah, right. If she's not, not like able to make those grades and pass these certain uh -huh. tests, it may not be the best interest for you to set yourself up to go into these things that you're already not prepared for. You're almost preparing yourself to kind of fail, right. um, trying to give yourself like a second chance. And if you don't have the grades and if you don't have the SAT scores to get in at school, well, if you already, I, I'm pretty sure her, her and her mom, Olivia's mom, already knew that. So get a tutor and don't be embarrassed to say you had a tutor. Don't be embarrassed to say you had extra help because I had a tutor for my senior year in, in high school and I was fine with it. She's kind of selling this dream online where she's like, oh, college is this lifestyle, like it's like it's fabulous. It's but like a fashion. Yes, right. like right. she's wearing it like it's the well, next trend. For her, a college degree is just an accessory. It doesn't exactly. mean anything to her. These people can afford to have the best tutors in the country, potentially the they world. They don't want them. And they don't do that to try and, uh, you know, better their grades mm -hmm. so they actually have the merit to get into these schools. Yeah. I guess on the flip side too is like I get I'm sure you guys heard about the mother who's suing the two actresses for nearly five hundred billion dollars. That is ridiculous. That, that is money. that is bonkers. <laughs> that is bonkers. Yes. I like I can understand, you know, parents are upset and you know, realistically I would have said two hundred thousand, that would have covered your kids' tuition, mm -hmm. give you a new car, that's about it. I think yeah. all of that money could be donated to a charity instead. Yeah. But thank you, panel, and thank you for tuning into After LUTV News. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for more LUTV content. See you next time. I wish I had her phone. <laughs>